I'm not oblivious to the fact that I'm putting her on the spot. Carly's keeping something from me I can tell just by looking at her. Michael's my stepson. I love him with all my heart and I want to help him, but I'm at a distinct disadvantage here. It's hard when you feel like you had to live. I wish that was the worst. Except shouldn't have gone away. Carly didn't want me to go to Houston. Maybe she had a premonition. But I was so caught up in business. And... Anyway, the point is I have no idea how to help my wife, and she's gone through the most difficult time of her life. I just... I just need to know. Tell me what needs to be done for Michael. That's the thing, Jax. There's nothing anyone can do. Don't do this, Carly. Nothing anyone can do. I mean, I'm sure Michael's case isn't hopeless. I'm not a doctor. I'm not qualified to give you an accurate problem. Yeah, but you know something, Elizabeth. Jax, I shouldn't even be discussing this with you. You know what? I'm not going to mention your name to anyone. So whatever assurances you need, consider them made. Please, help me help my wife. When Michael was on the table, it was clear the damage he sustained was as serious as it gets. There was a bullet lodged in his brain. He almost bled out. The only reason he's still alive is because no one is more amazing in the operating room under pressure than Dr. Drake. Jax, I was there when Michael's test results came back. And I heard Patrick telling Robin that Michael's coma is permanent. Permanent? He's, he's not going to wake up again. I'm just telling you what I heard. She knows. Um, Carly. Somebody must have told her, right? Which means this, this certainty that Michael is going to wake up is denial. Carly can't face the fact that Michael's already gone. I understand. You know, I don't often find myself at a loss, but I have no idea how to help my wife through this devastating time. Well, maybe you don't have to right now. I don't understand. Maybe Carly is not ready to hear the devastating truth. Maybe she's just doing everything she can to hold herself together with what she does know. Denial isn't always a bad thing. Sometimes it's necessary. I know that she loves Michael and Morgan more than anything, and she would never intentionally put her children in harm's way, but... Really, that's exactly what she did by allowing Sonny to be a part of their lives. And I'm sure she's realized that. Talk about a devastating truth, knowing that you put your own happiness or a comfortable relationship with an ex at your children's expense. The guilt must be overwhelming. So if Carly needs to cling on to hope for just a little while longer, what's the harm? She's going to have to face reality soon enough. And you, you just need to be there to love and support her through this next stage of pain. Yeah. Well, you know, this is the first thing I've heard in the last 24 hours that makes any sense at all. Thanks. I really uh, appreciate your insight. And your generosity. I know that Carly hasn't always been kind to you. I could have easily made the same mistake as Carly. I just think I didn't. <laughs>